Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's Morning Markets. Today, I'm joined by Kevin Kidney, Investment Director, and we're going to be looking at some positives in the British retail and also some um, notes on inflation. So, Kevin, we'll start with British retail. Is it good news from July? Good morning, Graham. Uh, some, some strength in the data, uh, which can be explained by uh, the unusually warm summer we're having. So the rebound in sales we saw last month was explained by uh, sales in summer clothing and also in electric fans. Now, it was so very hot. It was. Um, I needed an electric fan. And <laughs> uh, I think we all did. And there's a slight cloud on, uh, on that because the chief executive of the BRC has reported that most retailers are, are still seeing declines in volumes. So low overall, the number was up. That's mainly because of the underlying goods inflation we're seeing and yeah. in the UK, but also really it's a global issue. Yeah, so the sun comes out and um, people spend a little more. And is it the same with bars and restaurants? People are out and about a bit more frequently. Exactly, yeah. So the, the measure is very broad. So it wasn't just, um, say, on high street sales of goods. There was also increased spending in, um, in bars and restaurants and drinks and food. Yeah. Indeed, me and you went for some dinner in the we hot did. weather. So yeah, there you go. We did indeed. So that's obviously a positive for the UK economy. In terms of inflation, is that a good thing as well, or does that potentially lead to uh, more so, inflation issues? Or so it's it's once again going to be the issue that dominates this week. So yesterday in the US, there was a measure of consumer inflation expectations which was published. Now that's beginning to decline actually, and that will please policymakers um, somewhat. However, that can really be explained by consumers are um, very vigilant on the price of say petrol, the price of food. So the the numbers in the US are coming off a little at the petrol pumps, so consumer inflation expectations are following, uh, following, following that. However, I'm sure most of our viewers will recall the update from George Bell yesterday on the US jobs data yeah. and the underlying wage measure for the month of July within that showed continued strength. Wage growth still remains above 5% in the US, which will be a worry. Um, another worry will be that the, fur, the Fed's preferred measure of wage growth, which is um, referred to as the Employment Cost Index, accelerated again through uh, the second quarter. So that's another inflationary pressure that they're having to deal with. And if you take this all together, it really explains why monetary policymakers are so worried about inflation. Yeah, that's uh, the big news agenda. Here in the UK, um, Governor Andrew Bailey, were you going to mention something? Yes, yeah, so um, it's not that unusual following an interest rate increase to have the Governor of the Bank of England on the TV screens, you know, trying to explain why policy is going in the direction it was and this time was no different so Governor Bailey was at pains to to try and let people understand why the bank are hiking interest rates quite aggressively despite these cost of living pressures that are ahead and it's really um, for two clear reasons. One is that um, there are still more jobs available than there are workers yeah. and so when the bank's agents speak to businesses across the country, all they're hearing back is, we cannot find enough workers. So the jobs market is very hot. And the second um, important feedback that the bank are getting is that very few businesses are reporting difficulty in passing through rising prices. So although it squeezes real incomes, consumers are still spending. They may not be spending on the same volume of goods, but they are sp still spending most of their income every month yeah. and that is worrying the bank because they are concerned about the stickiness of inflation pressure so that's why they're acting now and raising interest rates. Yeah. And it's something I will continue to discuss here on morning markets and it really is a long-term view isn't it and letting the long term play out here. Yeah because if we go and um, if we look at what the forecasts for inflation are the official forecasts yeah. from the central banks I mean they're all expecting inflation to be very sticky yeah. this year and it's not really until we get into say the spring of next year that inflation is likely to slow markedly and come down close to target, but yeah. not, not quite at target. And the US reporting on that will be tomorrow, will it? Yeah, so the US yeah. number tomorrow is for uh, the CPI data for the month of July. It's expected to be above, be above 9% for the second consecutive yeah. month, much too high for US policymakers. So like Andrew Bailey over the weekend on the TV screens here in the US policymakers, um, were everywhere explaining that inflation is still too high there. Yeah. More interest rate hikes are ahead. Best be prepared. So something we'll cover on Thursday's morning markets and Indeed. keep our viewers updated. So thank you, Kevin, for the day. I think that was a very good morning markets. And thank you to our viewers for watching. Appreciate it. And um, I'd also just like to recommend the podcast now available on the True Potential YouTube channel. Friday's was a special looking at retirement and your pensions. So please do subscribe to the True Potential YouTube channel and check that show out.
and thank you very much and we'll see you tomorrow on Morning Markets. If you're interested in taking your investing to the next level or would like to know more about the options available to you when you retire, then download our free guides to ISAs and pensions. These are available in the video description below.